Hi friends, I am Dr. Sushant Soni, MBBS MAMSI, MD Pathology, Resident Hematoncology, Ames Delhi. Now I am having this exclusive session for the students how to target the November Ames exam. Firstly, have faith on yourself. No goal is unachievable. So before we go further, first know the date of the exam that is AIMS is in November whereas the NEET exam is in January 2021. So for the AIMS exam we have approximately 16 weeks which are left versus the NEET exam which has 22 weeks left for the paper. Think in terms of weeks not months firstly. Secondly, when you, whenever you start your day or whenever you are feeling low, write these two statements. I am the boss and I can do it. The more number of times you reinforce this in yourselves, higher are your chances of being selected. Being away from negativity of the people, that is the AIMS paper is too tough, only those who have studied five and a half years of MBBS will be able to crack it. You need to have at least distinction in three, four subjects before cracking it. Not at all. Not at all. I am a pretty live example of the same. You can crack the paper by having a proper strategy, sticking to it and having faith on yourself. How do we go about that? Firstly, judge your preparation. These are what I called as the five main steps to success. Judge your preparation. Nobody is a better judge of how well you know a particular subject and where you are going wrong more than yourself. When you are doing a particular grand test or the more number of MCQs that you attempt, the topics which you are going more wrong in, those are the topics to be revised again from the notes. We will be discussing how to make a schedule and stuff in just 3-4 minutes. So first is, first step to success, judging your preparation and being truthful to yourself. Next, remember you are not a failure just because you had a setback. I know many of you had high hopes from the mid-year exams. You were pretty close to your dream branch in NEET 2020, that is in the January NEET exam 2020, but because of the counseling, because of which whatsoever factors, you missed out on that. Your dream branch was within your grasp. COVID happened, COVID-19 happened, you were under more stress. During the mid-year papers, something went wrong. Stop thinking all that. All that. You are not a failure because of a setback. We have had tremendous success stories from pretty far off ranks to getting a rank in even double digits. So it is possible. It is possible. Next, be constructive and learn from the situation. There is a difference in being constructive versus overthinking, self-analyzing so much and thus going into depression or losing faith on yourself. Do not be in the second category. Be constructive and learn from the situation. Remind yourself, anyone who wants to do things of value in life will of course fail. But if something is too easy to get, majority of the people will be getting it. Every day in the morning when you get up, remind yourself of your target. Why are you working hard? And take my word for this, this is your last paper in the sense that I know 11, 12 when the same thing was said that study for two years and your life is set. That did not happen. But doing your MDMS exam or giving your MDMS exam is your last exam. DM is optional. MDMS is a must. I always say there is not much difference between a first year intern and HOD of the department except HOD was born few years earlier. So in few years even you will become an HOD that's not a big deal. But there is a lot of difference between an intern and a first year PG because that difference is of an exam. The minute you clear that you are on this side. So anyone who wants to do, do things in life to do things in life which are of value will fail. So do not let your failures define you. Make path for yourself. Next, let it out into the light. Jot down where you are going wrong and improve on that. And lastly, surround yourself with positive people. Find inspiration and support. If I'm sitting in a library in which 15 people are studying, 
for seven to eight hours a day with concentration having seven to eight hours of output per day is pretty good if you sit for about 10 to 11 hours you will have an output of seven to eight hours so find inspiration and support be with like-minded people these are the six main steps to success firstly you need to follow these next make a schedule very very important Deco, Deco, we have 16 weeks for the AIMS exam. So firstly, let us target AIMS exam. In this, do not leave a subject. Is If you are doing internship, time, this is always a race against time. During internship, you know, our very simple thought process is let me not revise medicine and surgery because we are fresh from it in final year. Nee, bache, don't do that. Medicine and surgery, yes, I agree, you're fresh from the final year, but there's a lot of difference between knowing the theory and solving the MCQs. Firstly, especially with respect to surgery, if you have not covered the MCQs, you will not be able to mark them in the exam. Next, so do not leave a subject. Leaving a subject is stupidity. Leaving a topic in a particular subject is disastrous because the topic that you will leave, question is going to come from that. Next point do it in such a way that you finish your first reading for the uh, for the post interns but there is absolutely no way you can leave a subject next point finish your first reading finish your first reading maximum by first week of september finish your first reading of all 19 subjects of all 19 subjects maximum by first week of september i am saying so because you need to revise it at least twice before you need exam how to go further your reading is over by the first week of september after that you you will have the first revision you will do the first revision medical subjects they are very very volatile first revision will take at least one and a half month next point next point after that so september one and a half month mid october is there next till november Till November aims, you need to do, you need to do the previous three years NEET and the AIMS exam questions. You need to do the previous year questions at least of the previous three years, at least of the previous three years. So both the NEET as well as the AIMS exams previous year questions have to be done. Go and give the AIMS paper. This is where, this is where the November AIMS paper will come so after the aims exam one of the biggest mistakes that a student mistake make is he is overthinking that you know this is what i should have done this is what i should not have done shit yaar my paper did not go well or it went too well whatever whatever as a result of which after the november aims student misses out approximately on seven to ten days he misses out on 7 to 10 days for whatsoever reason. These 7 to 10 days are crucial. Do not fall into this trap. Firstly. Secondly, another disastrous mistake that a student makes is the November AIMS result is out and your rank might or might not be up to your expectation. As a result, our studies are hampered. Do not miss out on this time period between November AIMS and the January need. This is crucial. So after the November aims, you know your weaker points. You also know, you also know that these are the new topics which have been added. There is a very close correlation between the November aims and the January need. So always cover the previous two to three years of questions. Do this, do this along with, along with the second revision along with the second revision of all 19 subjects second revision will take you a month stick to this pache go and give your neat exam there is absolutely nothing which is going to stop you from getting a good rank if our chances are good i am extremely superstitious i always believe in luck all of us are medicals all of us work hard no doubt about that some people get selected some do not so it is dependent on it is dependent on your luck doing good things in life and having a positive attitude i strongly believe in that so if our luck is good 
our sec our success story will be here that is november games will clear if not nothing is stopping us from clearing the neat 2021 paper stick to the schedule and i absolutely personally guarantee this is something which has worked well for the previous 10 to 12 years and this will work for you also so you will succeed next point discipline is consistency of action all three words all three words we need to be disciplined about our schedule we under no circumstance can do this that on one day we have studied for 12 hours on the second day it is for 6 hours then we are again jumping to 8 to 10 hours there is no way we have to we can do that it has to be you have to be disciplined and discipline is consistency of action yes thought process is needed making a rational schedule is required but once a schedule is made given one give, put in one to one and a half hour in making your schedule no doubt about it but once it is made consistently follow it with discipline it is the consistency of action i will suggest you to study in the following four slots this was what i did during my internship i studied in four slots firstly sleep in night wake up during the day i have so many students message me ki sir can we shift our cycle from day to night or whatsoever nahi yaar nahi absolutely not because our body is not built that way we are more energetic during morning the day time you would have yourself feel felt that if we do a particular mcq at night versus without reading anything else if i do the same question during the day time my answer will differ so personally what went what went very right for me was studying in four slots the first slot the first slot was the morning slot i am not asking you to get up at 6 am 7 am or whatsoever but getting up by 7:30 to quarter to 8 is i guess a very comfortable time please get up please get up by 7:30 to 7:45 am next point next point freshen up and start studying by 8:30 am your first slot of study your first slot is 8:30 to 10:30 am this batch is your first slot next at 10:30 am have a breakfast break if you are in the hostel or if you are at home then there is no issue if you are in the hostel it can always be ordered or you can tell the mess hall bhaiya to give you at 10:30 or whatsoever whatsoever have a breakfast break at 10:30 next the second slot is from 11:15 i am giving you comfortable time to have breakfast the second slot second slot is from 11:15 to 2:30 pm to 2:30 because see as the exam approaches our concentration span will become slightly longer the more under the more stressed situation we are in higher will be sort of our output so have a short break of 5 minutes if you feel like between this slot but otherwise try to stick to this followed by lunch at 2:30 next 2:30 to 3:30 lays around whatever the second slot the third slot third slot is 3:30 to 6:30 pm this is the third slot again have a 5 minutes of break what i am asking you effectively to do is to study for 3 hours with a 5 minute break in between 3 3 hours study time will increase see the examination is also for 3 hours you will you are training your mind to be active for those 3 hours firstly secondly this is increasing your total number of hours also in a day at 6:30 have some snacks talk on phone see the messages see the whatsapp if you are on few telegram groups on facebook whatsoever whatsoever 6:30 to 7:15 you can do that the fourth slot is 7:15 pm to 9:30 pm the fourth slot is 7:15 to 9:30 this with of course a 5 minute break in between not more than 5 minutes gradually you will get used to it 9:30 pm have dinner have dinner if you are enrolled in online classes or something after that you can watch that 
do something positive after 9:30 you can watch a motivational video watch something on amazon prime youtube netflix whatsoever you wish 9:30 to 10:15 is your dinner talk with few friends and sleep off by 11 to 11:30 because the next morning you have to repeat this eat sleep repeat eat sleep repeat you can follow this only when you are motivated and take my word for this this is the key to success so so 7:30 to 9:30 with frequent breaks firstly secondly bache when i use the term slots it means that your phone is on silent it is not there is no important call that you have to attend during this time especially for the post interns bache give this paper your best shot for the interns it is always you are always stealing time from your hospital postings so you have to manage it the best way you have to manage it the best way you can so your morning and afternoon slots in a way are gone but whatever time is left from 3:30 onwards till about 9:30 to 11 whatever time is left sit and study ho jayega ho jayega no doubt about it no matter how bad your situation is there is always hope if you have faith so do not lose faith do not lose hope in yourself try to give it in your try to do your best and the success will follow itself on its own next point with respect to pathology you very well know that the 10th edition of pathology has been released so i have there is no way i am asking you to read the 10th edition pathology robins not at all for the pathology updates i am doing 10 live sessions that is 10 hours of special free classes on the unacademy app they are scheduled every friday saturday sunday at 8:30 pm for the topic wise schedule you can have a link you can have a look at my telegram group just on telegram simply type sushant soni pathology and it will come up i will personally ensure that no question is missed from the 10th edition updates firstly there are lots of changes we have already done two sessions it has gotten great reviews there are lots of changes which i'll give you small examples like in the chapter of lungs they have put much more stress on the infectious diseases in git they have included a whole new topic of oral cavity they have renamed the chapter as oral cavity and git included salivary gland tumors all these are the prospective questions which i'll be taking care of in these 10 hours of special free classes next point how to you a very common query again that i get is how to best utilize your time i'll give you a small example for the professional and academy app users dekho we have a batch course with that is starting from july to november which will take care, which is the full course taking care of the full content but of course you will be slightly apprehensive that we cannot take it till november if our paper is in january i'm not asking you to do the whole course the best for you is the test and discussion exclusive sessions being targeted for november aims as well as the neat 2021 these are the two separate sessions which are being conducted by all the faculties on the academy app so what i am asking you to do is take the test and discussion session that is suppose with respect to pathology whole pathology is being covered in 16 hours radio is being covered in 5 to 6 hours anatomy is being covered in 14 hours ops gynae is in 18 hours and so on so this is the whole test and discussion series watch that and if you are not able to understand a particular topic or a concept or you are going wrong in a particular set of questions do that from the whole batch course this is the best way to study or oh, and the same thing can be applied that if you are watching a test and discussion module and you are you are going wrong in a particular topic you can refer to your notes for the same also now the most unique and the best feature about an academy is that at the 6 month subscription you get all the content on an academy that is you get the question bank you get the tnd course you get uh, whatever is there the batch course and everything so the 6 month will suit you the best for those of you who are still not the users done bache so needless to say bestest of luck bestest of luck and take care whether you ask any queries or not i'm perfectly okay with it but do tell me the rank that you get my email id is sushantesuni@gmail.com and i'll the biggest reward a teacher can get 
is happy thankful messages from the students that sir we followed your course or we followed your schedule and it helped us clear take care and good luck